What's up guys, Kenska from KenskaArt.com, illustrator and author of Manga for Dummies and Figure Drawing for Dummies, here to demonstrate a super useful tool in Clip Studio Paint called the Flip Tool. It's uh, here, view, rotate, invert, and you see a horizontal, which I have a shortcut, and vertical, I have a shortcut for F. Uh, super useful, I definitely recommend you guys assigning a shortcut to these things. You can go ahead and establish that in the shortcut, shortcut menu bar. So what is the flip tool? Well the flip tool is basically a useful correction tool in terms of application. Now just to let you guys know ahead of time, this is not the equivalent of actually rotating the canvas. This is just a viewpoint, a POV if you will. Uh, here I've assigned a D and F for my shortcuts to make sure I have quick access to these things. I definitely recommend establishing those shortcuts beforehand. So what I mean by just flipping the, the, the canvas, what's precisely that, it's just flipping the canvas. A and B, hit the flip, you get the, the reverse of it. Okay, flip it again, okay, flip a vertical. How this plays an application, because we're all about application here. <laughs> this is a really wonderful tool. It helps you accurately establish the foundation for your drawings. And you'll see many artists start out their drawings this way um, to make sure that their overall gesture and proportions are accurate. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration here my favorite brush tool here. All right now I'm just using straight lines to roughly block in where I want and establish my proportions. Now, uh, a lot of people will say, well, why do people start out this way? Um, well, you don't have to start out this way. It's just that when it, it when you have this, do this extra work, it, it ironically, it saves time because you don't have to go back and, you know, figure out, well, you know, this pose doesn't really work for my composition, but I did all the detail laid work, laid, uh, detailed artwork, so I kind of feel like obligated to stick with it. So you don't want to corner yourself in that. You want to leave uh, rooms for for change and for adjustments. Okay, so that took a couple, of, you know, really, really quick. That was like, what, less than 30 seconds or something like that. All right, so before I go um, more in detail, I want to make sure that all the shapes and gestures are what I really want. I'm going to hit the flip tool, D. And immediately I can see from this new perspective that it's not so bad, but I could go and make adjustments to the shoulder. You know, you're going to always find that there are certain habits, mistakes that you make. Mine happens to be that, you know, a three quarter angle, you know, shoulders are a little bit uh, narrow. All right, not too bad. I want to define, take a chance to help define. Where I want objects to fall. Okay, I might go ahead and tilt the head a little, oops. Tilt the head backwards a little bit. Right. And you'll again, you'll see so many artists start out this way. Um, don't let it. Uh, don't get intimidated because, you know, when you see artists draw, uh, with the you you only see the the final drawing, a uh, final product of the the illustrator. And trust me, that person did not get to that point by just drawing everything from. Uh, start to finish, no, that person, he or she, had to go through some planning stages. 
to mark to make sure that uh, they get it right. Oops. All right. I'm gonna go in. Stand where I want the eyes to be. Get that plane, the nose, mouth. Neck is a little bit short for. Higher. Now I'm still on the flip mode, so everything is going to be in reverse. Um, and what I want to do, and before I go ahead and start going supersonic mode, is flip it one more time, hit D, reestablish my bearings. She's looking a little bit masculine now. Narrow her torso a little bit. Uh, this is a one, such a wonderful thing in terms of how you can use digital to make these fine little tweaks before it before you commit to drawing more detail. Okay, so this is a pretty much a good layout for my um, my my pose. I'm going to go ahead and go supersonic mode and up the speed so you can see how I lay down the the finer details to make this, po this pose complete. Uh, another useful option is a tool that I want to introduce that I really recommend everybody using is there's a little tool right here. Um, it's called Change Layer Color. If I click on it, it's going to switch it to a uh, light blue mode. And it's supposed to re this is supposed to resemble the, the uh, non-photo repro blue that people used to use back in the 80s or 90s. Um, it basically would not photocopy. You can just lay your, top, your inks on top of it and when you went to reproduce it through the printers, the photo blue would not reproduce. So you just see the clean, crisp lines. Um, this is just nothing more than emulation. I'm just going to tone down the layer. That way it can see, I can see my final lines more clear. Um, so here we go. Supersonic mode, BOOM! All right, so here I'm at the stopping point right now. Um, I think I pretty much got the basic shapes and proportions down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the guideline that I had set. Um, and I'm gonna turn it off, and there we go. We're left with a clean line figures. Um, certainly we can go and embellish some features here and there. Oh, fix up some things like, for example, that hair doesn't add up quite right. Let me fix that quickly right here. There we go, much better. There we go. So in real time, that was about, uh, 
I don't know, like 15 minutes or something like that. Um, so you can see how having a foundation drawing, a light sketch, which you, you saw me do, can really, really help speed up your process. And also this flip tool, you saw me go like this all throughout the, uh, this, the screen like that, back and forth. That was just to make sure that my drawing was true to what I wanted it to be at the end, the final result. Um, go ahead and fix it. Yeah. Start nitpicking. Once I start down, going, going down this rabbit hole, <laughs> you start wanting to add more stuff. <laughs> fix that shape right there. Kind of need to adjust your trap. See again, that flip tool helped me realize uh, that mistake. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. A super, super useful tool, the flip tool. Again, you can find it here under view, rotate, flip horizontal, flip vertical. Definitely recommend establishing a shortcut for those things so you don't have to keep on going through the menu. You can simply hit a hotkey. One thing I would definitely would caution you guys is if you're going to add any logos or text to your drawings, make sure that you're aware of which mode you're in because otherwise when you go ahead and export that to the printers or something like that, it's going to come up flipped <laughs> and you definitely don't want that. Let me know if this helped. Let me have any questions. If there's something that you would like uh, for me to cover in a future videos, please email me. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. Do turn on the notification buttons on so you can stay up to date on what is going on. Again, thank you so much for watching. Until then, in Christ, peace. Bye. Hey guys, be sure to check out my recent graphic novel, The Foreigner Book 102, now on sale on my website, kenskeart.com. Also follow my Instagram at KenskeArt for work updates before they hit my website.